the envelope follower is kind of works kind of the same as the audio sidechain without having a yeah an audio sidechain or sidechain input here. Um, this envelope follower only takes audio from in front of the device. So in uh, in front here of the polysynth, we don't have anything. So it doesn't make, make sense. But we can put this here on the reverb, for instance. Um, because we get audio from the polysynth itself. Right, so we get here a signal. And you can follow the envelope of the sound shaping it a bit here with a um, rise and fall attack and decay setting increase the, um, the gain a bit and then use this shape or the signal to modulate something so the shape of the audio coming from the polysynth decides of how much you mix in this reverb here there's also, of course, the RMS or peak setting here. RMS is basically the average value of the audio signal and peak is basically reacting instantaneously to all kinds of changes in the waveform. Um, but you can smooth this a bit out here with the rise and fall setting. So the envelope follower follows the envelope of an audio signal and you can take the signal then and modulate something in your devices. But you need an audio signal as an input. There's no sidechain here where you can take something from uh, some other tracks. Um, so for that, you probably just want to use the audio sidechain. Or you can use here maybe the audio receiver and take audio input from a different source. And then you mix in basically the source, the audio material from the, some other channel with your audio signal from um, your polysynth here. But that's only usable in certain circumstances, but just to give you an idea how this works. So if you want to have sidechain here, then just use the audio sidechain modulator. There's also other video on this channel here. We can look up how this works.